In today's video, we'll be discussing a topic that's been gaining a lot of attention in the area of weight loss, particularly for the reduction of belly fat, and that's tazomorelin. Tazomorelin is a peptide that forms a broader group of substances called secretagogues. So just before we dive into looking at tazomorelin specifically, let's start with a brief overview of what secretagogues are. These are substances that stimulate the secretion of hormones in the body. They can, they can come in the form of single man-made compounds designed to directly and synthetically induce the body's own supply of specific hormones by binding to specific receptors, or they can constitute a collection of, of natural vitamins, minerals, and amino acids designed to encourage the body's own production and maintenance of specific hormones. So if you see products being advertised generically as secretagogues, it's really important that you dig into the ingredients list to find out which type of secretagog it is, what it's designed to do, and how does it achieve this. One specific type of secretagog is tazomorelin. It belongs to a class of compounds known as growth hormone releasing hormones, or GHRH analogs. Tazomorelin works by mimicking the action of a natural hormone releasing peptide, stimulating the release of growth hormone. It's traditionally been used for the treatment of a medical condition called lipodystrophy, which is characterized by abnormal fat distribution in the body. It's been licensed for this specific use in certain countries, including the United States, where it's available on prescription. In the United Kingdom, tazomorelin is not currently approved or licensed for weight loss purposes. If you see tazomorelin being sold online by unlicensed vendors in either of these countries, it's likely being illegally supplied. So the integrity of the product itself is also highly likely equally questionable. Now let's discuss some clinical trials that have explored the effects of tazomorelin on weight loss and the reduction of belly fat. The TH9507 clinical trial published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism in 2004 involved 189 participants with abdominal obesity. The study found that tazomorelin significantly reduced visceral fat, belly fat, compared to the placebo. The RESIST clinical trial published in the Journal of the American Medical Association in 2008 included 412 HIV-infected individuals with abdominal fat accumulation due to the medication that they were taking to control their HIV. Tazomorelin administration led to a significant reduction in visceral adipose tissue or belly fat compared to the placebo group. The A5224S clinical trial published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism in 2012 this time also involved 282 HIV infected individuals with abdominal fat accumulation due to medication. Participants treated with tazomorelin showed a, a greater reduction in waist circumference and belly fat compared to the placebo group. While tazomorelin has shown promising results, it's important to be aware of potential side effects. Common side effects reported in clinical trials include joint pain, muscle pain, redness at the injection site and swelling. As with any medication or intervention, it's crucial to consult with a healthcare professional to understand the potential risks and benefits in your specific situation. 